Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a very exciting video. This is my first festive video of the year, so I'm beyond excited for this. I did a little question on Instagram and asked everyone what they wanted to see. So it was kind of a mixture of different kind of gift guides and it was nearly half and half, so I've kind of put them both together. I think one of them was hampers and one of them was kind of like a budget Christmas gift guide for all. Um, so in this one I'm doing kind of all high street stores which are definitely very budget friendly. Um, I have TK Maxx, Primark, Pound Shop, Home Bargains and B&M and yeah I am so excited to show you guys what I got. This isn't obviously everything, this is just little bits and pieces I've grabbed when I've been out that I know that I will be able to give to friends and family and I have included everything so I've got something for your pet. I have um, Secret Santa for work, I have brothers, sisters, do I have brothers? Brothers or boyfriends kind of thing. Um, I don't know, I can't really remember what I've got because I've been to so many shops and I've kind of bought it over a period of time. So anyway, let's get into the video. So the first place I think I went to was Home Bargains. Um, I have two bags from Home Bargains. That one's got rice crackers in there for me. <laughs> First up we have their little wax melts. Now these aren't I don't think any brand aroma wax melts. I've never seen these before. Um, I got three. So I got a summer one and I got two linen ones. Just these are wee baby ones but these are good because nine times out of ten the big massive ones that you get they one take forever to burn or they take forever to kind of like disappear and then you have to soak them all up and chuck them out and it's just a waste because the scent's gone after it's burned a couple of times so these are better. Nice to be pick me up for um, anyone who doesn't like winter months or even winter smelling candles. These are cute, these are like ridiculously cheap, they're like 29 pH. Um, so they would be good as well if you were doing up a wee gift with um, a wax melt holder kind of thing. You could get a nicer more expensive one or you can get ones that are literally 99p and they are just as nice. Um, so they're great to kind of throw in as wee gifts, um, wee stock and fillers for people. Then I got, this is the range which is just like, um, well it's kind of copy of Jo Malone, um, my mom loves this and this is actually either for her birthday or Christmas, I'm not quite sure yet, um, it's the pomegranate scent and it's really really nice, this is a big bottle and this I believe, did I keep the receipt, am I that good? There is a receipt but I bet you it's not the right one. It's one of those receipts that has like nothing on it. Yeah, it is really, really cheap and it's a nice wee stock and filler. It's just to throw in to give it to someone if you don't have the money to get a really expensive perfume. Perfumes are dear um, for nice ones anyway and I know the majority of the ones I like. They are kind of 40 and upwards up to, you know, 100 pounds and so. So these are good and they smell nice and they look really fancy too. Um, next, as a wee stock and filler, I tend to do kind of like wee beauty hampers for people. Um, so this is really good. I know someone who loves it and they will be getting this in theirs. It's those wee root touch-ups. Um, I don't know if this is branded. I think it is because I've seen it before, but maybe not. Anyway, these are really, really cheap. I think these are like $1.99 or something. So good to throw in for a gift. And next is the we copy Victoria's Secret sprays. These are great because Victoria's Secret sprays before a spray is expensive and this again is a pound or $1.99 and they smell just as nice. Good to throw in a handbag and a great little stocking filler. It's a reindeer face mask. Again thought that was so cute. Throw into someone's gifts as a wee stocking filler. It's funny they had this one and I think maybe a snowman or an elf. I think it was an elf and this is 99p. It's blackberry and I don't think it's going to be amazing but it's cute and as I said if you were doing wee Christmas Eve boxes for people these are cute to throw in if you had um, kids. These are vegan so they're probably very mild with their ingredients um, and they would probably be okay for children. I'm not sure though. No, keep out of sight and reach for children. Don't give this to your kids. Um, if you have anyone who's a big kid at heart give them this. It's cute. I'm probably going to end up using this because I don't know anyone who I would give it to. shop and um, my bags split and everything their plastic bags are horrendous 
Um, so the first thing which I thought was really really cute was these little things you can get. You can get dog ones, cat ones and I got this for my kitty cat. It's cute, it's a pound and we all want to include our pets in Christmas. Um, next, oh I'm really excited. Why did I do that? Why did I want to look like an elf? Um, next I got these two candles. I think these are amazing. So there they are. There is mulled wine and pine and berries. They're glass candles. They come in these really, really cute jars. These are a pound each. They're not in like the five pound range or anything. Um, I didn't even look at the jars to be honest. Oh, it's it's nice inside to it. I'm not going to take it out, but it has the print and I think it's got polka dots on it. Oh no, it doesn't. I'm just making that up. Um, yeah, it's it's got the print on the front of it. This is um, mulled wine and I actually think this is really nice. Um, obviously it's not going to be the strongest smelling candle but looks wise it's pretty and I think I would be really excited if I got that in my stocking filler too and then the green one is pine and berries and yeah it's quite nice it's kind of more of a fresh smell and it's the same it's got the wee label and it's in the glass jar so these I think are great presents for mum, sister, um, secret santa in work, um, grannies grand as if they like candles anybody who loves candles i think these are really really sweet and they're nice christmas smells and the packaging is lovely and for a pound you cannot go wrong they have this little range and i did see someone else in their videos i think they had like the hand creams or something and um, this little set of fresh rose and um, these are really really cute that's a bath kind of chunky bar and that's an oil and um, bath oil so they're really really nice they've got rose petals in them they're nice simple packaging and again these are a pound each so it does smell strong um i don't think it's obviously going to be one of those well it's got real petals in it so it might i was going to say i don't think it'll be one of those ones that makes your skin super soft and everything but um maybe with the oil and try them together i think they would actually be really really nice and they come like that is so cute if you did that with some other little beauty bits in a little hamper i think that would be lovely and um, again i know i'd be really excited to get this um i am actually going to give this to my granny for christmas her name's rosemary so rose you know so next i have one of these portable phone chargers this is for somebody i know or this is for anybody you know who does not keep their phone charged always lets it die when they're out you can never get a hold of them you're panicking about where they are are they okay um, this is for that type of person so it is just a pocket friendly usb charger i don't think it comes with a wire or maybe it does but it'll go um for any phones i think anyway i didn't really check to be honest i think it's just the the, the powers in there and then you just kind of use your own cables on it so it's compatible with most phones and this was in point shop but i believe it was five pound let me check ah it was only two pound two point that is so good and again nice little stocking filler for someone and then next they have the cutest little um hair ties clips bows things like this this one's got little crowns little flowery butterflies and little purple stars with sequins on them and these are so 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 cute again these are only a pound my little niece god bless her soul has only really just got enough hair to kind of tie back or clip up so now that it is getting like that i'm loving playing with it and trying to do it in cute little pigtails and, and buns and stuff so i got these four just again for a little stocking filler she's only going to be about one and a half so she's not going to have a bloody clue what's going on at christmas but more for my enjoyment these are cute then next for my niece and nephew i got them these because i just feel like even though she's got no idea what's going on you have to match everything so these are just little smarties these were in pine shop um they were obviously a pound each and they're cute they've got the wee smarties inside a wee pink one and a wee blue one and they're cute for anyone even my age i know i would love these so anybody who loves chocolate these are great and then next they had cards which are personalized and i could only find one with layla on it that's obviously the, the name of my niece i'm gonna go back and, and try different ones and see if i can get one that says like a it would be kind of a wee bit more special for him because he knows how to read his name she doesn't but these are cute and they come in the envelope and they're only a pound too so you should go have a look and see if you can find anyone's name you know on it that you're going to get them a card i just think it's sweet a wee bit more personal but not expensive and next for kind of secret santa vibes or just well, anyone but i was really going to get these for a secret santa um general knowledge quiz we love these these are cheap these are great um, just a good few questions to kind of bang out at people on Christmas Day, Boxing Day, whatever it might be. Um, I think things like this are funny and they're cheap. You're not spending a lot of money to have a bit of entertainment. And again, for like a little stocking filler or for a secret Santa, I think these are a great idea. 
I know if I got this I'd definitely crack it open and see what the questions are but yeah things like this or if you know anyone in your family who thinks they're like a, a quiz head and they're really good at quizzes and games and things like this this is a good present for them to do list kind of thing um again I kind of got this more for a secret Santa um it's just kind of got the days of the week doodle area and stuff I should probably do so it's just a, it's pretty basic do you know what I mean but handy nonetheless and anyone who you know is quite organized and loves things like this or wants to get organized then this is a great present and for a pound again you can't go wrong i think this is my favorite thing out of pound shop so i got these two so if again you're doing any hampers for anyone anyone who is of an age to drink um alcohol hampers are great because who doesn't love it um it's an easy present to get you can leave it as last minute as you want but Pound Shop have these and they're just bottles of tonic water and they just look a lot more expensive. I don't know if you can see that. Um, tonic water with lemon and then just normal tonic water. Both of these have zero sugar which is great. So these two or a couple more bottles of them, I think they did only just have these two flavours. But these two um, and a few more and maybe a gin or two for someone to try if they're a gin lover or I don't know whatever else they drink that might go with tonic water. I think this is a great gift and I am planning on doing that myself for somebody Um, I did buy this for my mum before and she actually did really like these um, tonic waters and they're nice they look nicer than your basic plastic bottles and they are obviously only a pound each so great little stocking filler as well I forgot to show this actually I've just been sorting through my bags this is from Pound Shop as well and um, these are really cool these are bath tub finger paint soap um, they're scented, I haven't smelt them yet, one's, oh no, berry, icicle and winter snow, I don't know what they smell like but um, it's basically just finger paint for the bath but it's nice and smelly and soapy and it's easy to clean so there's no mess and this is obviously for my niece and nephew, my sister is just getting a new bathroom put in so she will love me. Um, but it is, it's really really easy to clean I think, I've never <laughs> used them myself but yeah I think these are nice again little stocking fillers and yeah super cheap pound each nice to throw in as a gift tk maxx is next this is one of the first items i bought um for my nephew it feels like all i'm saying is for my nephew and my niece but um yeah these two little tops i think these are amazing so nice one i don't know if you can say these were only four pound was 15 good quality tops i'm not a big fan of like tracksuits on kids and things but a little top here and there of this type it doesn't bother me i think it's quite cute and then i do prefer this one um it's a jordan's one this was only three pound um this one here so i know obviously like i'm not suggesting go in and look now but if you do you like you know pass in now and again and you might get yourself a really really good deal i'm just peeling back the sticker to see what it was before it was three pound because it was reduced prior to that yeah i can't see it's peeling it off but anyway um yeah really really cute these two wee tops and again just kind of something to throw in always i would definitely recommend running into tk maxx and seeing if you see any bargains like this originally obviously i i, I really don't think i would spend the 15 or the 16 pound on them but when they are cheap like this it's definitely good to grab them for birthdays or christmases or things like that or just to have in general um i really like those and the girls things are so so beautiful i don't really know about adults clothes in tk maxx i wouldn't say i would go there to kind of look maybe coats and shoes and things but clothes wise no um that is all i got out of tk maxx next is my favorite shop in the land good old primark and um, i didn't get that much in primark i really didn't i'm kind of thinking a lot of the stuff this year i haven't decided yet and i am going for a wee bit of like quality over quantity type vibe so a lot of these things are just little stocking fillers just so there's something for people to open if i am either giving them like experiences or vouchers or whatever it might be so first off again for my knees um should have just been a bloody kids haul um i got these two they don't come together but i think they are extremely extremely cute this little top um how sweet is that 4.50 it's white and it's got kind of like wee silver checkered lines down it i think that's adorable and then to go with or just as well and um, these wee glittery leggings these are so christmasy i think they're beautiful i imagine this is definitely something my mum would address me in and these were only three pound so you cannot go wrong if you've got any babies in your family or 
really really young kids that really don't even know that it's christmas day and have no idea what's going on clothes is always the best option and i think that's just such a nice little outfit for boxing day or whatever my birthday um my birthday is straight after christmas okay so the main thing everybody goes to primark for is definitely their pajamas and their slippers and things like that at christmas time at christmas time i don't think i've ever had a christmas where i haven't had a pair of primark pajamas it just isn't a thing and i'm sure there's so many people that are like that too so they did have a good range but not the best range in just yet i think i'm gonna leave it until like super close to christmas and go in well not super close maybe like three weeks before um and go in and see what they have but anyway i got these for somebody Um, they are cute i don't really know the animal that's on them but they've got a cute little red nose and the pajama bottoms are glittery and these are so sweet there is obviously ones that come nicer packaged and they come in boxes and stuff but just none of them were like mm, yeah they're really nice like i thought these were cute they're christmasy and i like the color of them being beige and these were only eight pound eight pound again just a little stocking filler to throw in to give to someone um i think they're super super cute and yeah can't beat a pair of pre-marked pajamas next for somebody not for the same person because i would definitely get slippers to match um, that's another idea obviously if you are going and you don't have that much money like see that and a pair of like beige slippers and one of those pound shop candles who would not be over the moon to get that and like a wee bar of chocolate or something and then you've only spent 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pound on someone's Christmas present and they're getting one, two, three, four items and that's a nice little night in with their new slippers and their pajamas, their candle lit, munching on their chocolate, watching festive movie still like that's a dream come true and that's i think that's a really nice gift for anybody got these slippers these are for somebody else it's kind of tra a tradition that i get this person a pair of slippers every year and nine times out of ten they're out of pre-mark i think maybe once or twice i've got them out of tk maxx but pre-marks are great and if you're getting a new pair every year and you probably already have like 20 pairs you're not wearing these ones every single day so they're gonna last forever and these are good ones they've got the hard sole <laughs> They're memory foam and they're fluffy inside and I really, really like this grey colour. Primark slippers are a must at Christmas time. My new in, ha ha ha, is these socks. Now, I'm all for cosy socks, but when cosy is changed to like, you know cosy socks after they've been washed a couple of times, they're just not cosy. They're just kind of strange. They're not soft and fluffy anymore. These cosy socks though are something else. I don't know what material they are. It says they're polyester, but they're more than that. Um, but they've kind of got a little sheen to them. I don't know if you can see. This is a two pack. These are only two fifty, and I think these are lovely. They're really, really nice colours. Totally up my street. Hoping someone will get me these this year. If not, I'll definitely be going and getting myself some. And I think they did have a few different colours. But again, this is just a nice little stocking filler to throw in to give to somebody. Um, and yeah, they're pretty and they're cute and they're cheap. And finally, um, from Primark, these hankies. These are from my papa. He is a lovely old man and he's still into hankies and he loves hankies and he has so many hankies but I bet you he doesn't have reindeer ones. These are only £4 so I think these are a bargain and they're 100% cotton which is 10 times better. So yeah anyone you know in your life who is that little bit older and prefers hankies or likes hankies or is still using hankies. How many times can we say hankies? b and I never go to B&M like it's never been a shop I've remotely liked ever went into by choice and I think the thing is in the one I think near me or at least the one I used to go in they used to put like the bird food and the dog food at the front door so as soon as you walked in it smelled like a pet shop and I hated it. When I went into B&M it shocked me. Everyone's probably seen these they're floating about everywhere. I know I first seen it in TK Maxx and then I think I seen it in no home bargains didn't have it but i did see a few other places that had it pre-mark maybe i think actually and i think pre-marks were like eight pound or twelve pound or maybe i'm not sure this was only 3.99 and it comes with actual m ms like actual m ms they had this one and a nutella one not too sure who i'm giving this to yet maybe myself um but i think there's so anyone who loves has a sweet tooth loves chocolate loves bacon loves m ms loves nutella anything this is a great present and it's really really nice the pan does seem quite sturdy it seems like a good pan if you know anybody who loves chilies i got this chili chocolate there's one two three four maybe i got this for somebody just as a joke it's 1.99 and i think you get four or five different ones extreme down to mild i think that would be vile but anyone who likes spicy food it's just kind of um 
a bit of fun, just a bit of fun. This is good though, I think, probably for loads of different people. It's bath time hoopla. Um, you stick the little things on the bath and then you throw the hoops at them. Um, $2.99, they've got different numbers. I simply got this because my nephew loves counting and numbers and all that fun stuff. And again, going to ruin my sister's new bath by sticking horrible things to the side of it and making it look grim. I got a unicorn starlight, thought that would be really cute for a little room. Again, she's got no idea what's going on, but it's sweet. It changes colours and it's only £3. And there's two different settings, I believe. So they had a unicorn one and then I think they maybe had like a butterfly one or something like that. But it's sweet and again, just another little stocking filler. I'm not gonna lie, I really like one of these in my room, regardless of what age I am. I got these. This is actually for my friend, for her niece and nephew. Niece and nephew? They're two girls. Um, for her nieces, two for 20. Um, I think they're yeah, 12 99 separately. They're little walkie-talkies. If they had boy ones, I actually would have got Luca some or... Um, Gary's nephew some because these are great every kid loves walkie talkies I love things like this when I was a kid and um, but I did then get like a good toy story they had a really good toy story for range with like forky and things like that you know everyone loves and um, I think this is some kind of like fishing thing so these are the two things that literally blew my mind when I was in there and um, these are great gifts um Ted Baker perfume everyone just guess how much they think this was Nine pound. Nine pound for this. I'm actually gonna Google. You're gonna drop. I'm gonna Google um how much this perfume is on the regular because I'm dying to know. In Superdrug, it was twenty four. I might it's twelve. But anyway, if you want it for nine, I think it was go to Home Bargain. It's nice. It looks more expensive, obviously, than what it is, and it's Ted Baker and it's branded and. Yeah, I again would like this. I don't know what it smells like. No idea, but I'm sure it's nice enough. Up to the end, this, to me, was one of the best things that B&M had. It's so hard not to say home bargains. The best thing that B&M had. They had a few different scents, and then they had, instead of the body washes and bath gels, they had a scrub and a moisturiser, and I think they're actually insane, like insane. So, Sanctuary, obviously, I'd say everyone's heard of and um, it's a nice brand of stuff it's not really expensive but it's not just your average dove shower gel it is nicer stuff and um, this is chili mango and tonka bean and um, bubble bath and then shower burst so the shower burst is in the tin and it's one of those like foaming ones and the bubble bath is like really thick and creamy so this was four pounds literally four pounds so they had this scent and then they had another scent and another scent so there's three scents all together and then in the scrubs it was the same they had the same um scents in in the scrubs and you got a scrub and um a moisturizer a, like well, it wasn't just a moisturizer it was like a body butter and yeah they're really really nice it's a lovely lovely packaging comes like this and it already tells me that it was 17 pound before and I paid four pound for this. So again, this, those pajamas, bar chalky, wee candle. Someone's gonna at least think that you've spent like over thirty pound on them, and you've not even come close to it yet. Next is the last two things, which is just chalky, because chalky is the main part of stocking fillers. These again, kids is great, but also adults is great. They're a pound each, they're milky bars. One comes with a little tutu, which is cute, and then one comes with a cape, and I love those. These, um, after this, they come in a really, really nice box. I got my mum these last year, and she loved them. They're little, I think they're smaller and minier, and I think you get like one, two, three smaller packages, but these are sweet. And yeah, everybody loves after it mints, and especially the real ones, not the fake ones. These were two pound. So I definitely suggest these for great little stocking fillers. They look a lot nicer than just the average box and yeah they're cute again i'd love them really want to eat them right now so guys that is the end of the video i hope you did enjoy it i hope this was useful i hope you liked the things and if you do buy this for anybody definitely let me know take a picture of it and show me on instagram snapchat whatever if you buy it for yourself let me know and if you definitely have any recommendations on what i should be getting for my friends or family that you've seen out and about then please let me know also this is the first of the festive videos i think i'm going to do a weekend vlog with gary because we're going to the christmas light turn on i'm having a little pamper on saturday i'm going to get my hair and my nails done Woo 
um, and we'll probably grab lunch or dinner or something like that along the way. So yeah, if you did enjoy, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.